Hi, I'm Megan Blanchett with O'Reilly Media, and we're here with Doug Cutting, who's an architect at Cloudera. Thank you for being here, Doug. It's great to be here. So we'll start out with the obvious question. You know, what led you to Hadoop? Um, well, it started with my son uh, bringing Hadoop to me, this little uh, stuffed elephant that uh, he, uh, you know, introduced the word first. And uh, I'm, a, as a software guy, interested in naming, coming up with good names. And it had all the hallmarks of a, of a great name for a software project. Um, I sat on it for a couple of years and, until I needed a name and uh, ended up uh, naming it Hadoop in uh, 06. Um, when we, we split the um, distributed computing parts of, uh, of what was then Nutch out into Hadoop to form its own uh, project. So it sounds like naming it was the easier part. And yeah, <laughs> I, I'd say that's that's fair assessment. What kind um, of I mean, there is an art to naming. I'm surprised how often people name things poorly uh, still, uh, mm -hmm. but, and then regret it soon soon thereafter. And so that was the easy road. What were the pain points to creating Hadoop itself before it was Hadoop? It wasn't painful. It was, you know, it's fun. I enjoy writing software, um, trying to figure out uh, how to structure things um, uh, so that you've, you've got a, a foundation that you can build on uh, and you won't regret the decisions you've made. Uh, there's, I didn't expect it to become uh, what it's become. Uh, you know, I was trying to build something that could be reused, certainly, um, but not as widely as, as how it was used today. Um, and so there's parts, if I'd known that, I might have done differently, but you know, you can never, never be certain what's going to happen. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasant surprise. It's a good problem to have. And now you've been with Cloudera for a bit now. What are they doing differently than other companies with Hadoop? Um, yeah, I've been at Cloudera for uh, a little over four years. Um, I mean, we're really the, the first um, uh, company that started around Hadoop as a, a vendor um, providing uh, commercial services and software around um, uh, uh, Hadoop as a, as a core component. Um, uh, so we, we've been doing it a little longer. We've got you know more people in the field. Um, uh, we're doing more more training. Um, uh, I think we've got a um, a really um, strong vision for where we can take this, both as a technology and as a company, as a business, um, uh, and and are building a a company that will last a long time along with a, a technological platform that which um, will not only survive but I think um, uh, enjoy, enjoy great utilization and help lots of other industries thrive. So. And what part of that vision is most exciting personally to you? Um, I like the concept that I learned in, in open source uh, that you can um, you can give something away uh, and you can still benefit from it, profit from it even, uh, but moreover, the, the profits that others uh, get are even greater. And so that you think about the overall impact um, you, it being greater than, than the personal impact, but the personal impact being greater than it would be if you didn't give it away. So there's this um, a sort of amplifying effect that I think you can get with, with open source. And I saw that first with Lucene, uh, where it, um, uh, I think, has generated far more revenue in other industries than it's ever generated for me. But nonetheless, it you know fed me and paid my mortgage for a couple of years. Um, and if I'd tried to do something else with that software um, that wasn't open, um, it wouldn't have done that. You know, it, it would, you, no one would ever have heard of it. No one would use it, I don't think. Uh, and so it's a, it's a pretty neat phenomenon. You can, you can sort of uh, have cake and eat it too uh, and with open source. Uh, Definitely. And speaking of usage, we've seen Hadoop integrated you know, in every way, and do you see it being used on its own in the future? Um, no, I really see it becoming this um, point of integration for lots of different tools uh, and applications, that it's a way, uh, it gives you a methodology to bring um, different tools to the same set of data, uh, and so they can share it and operate much more effectively. Um, so that the focus is really around uh, resource management, around uh, security, uh, and, and these sorts of things that, that, are, that are the kernel uh, coordination efforts for, for Hadoop. So I don't, I don't see it being used independently uh, much at all. Um, uh, you know, in, initially it was, it was, it was a standalone thing, um, but since then we've seen these, these tools grow around it, and I really think they're in the future going to be the dominant things people use are, are tools around Hadoop uh, and, and not Hadoop directly. Um, uh, rather, it just provides that, that glue that holds it all together. 
Is there a future tool that doesn't exist right now that you hope will be in the future for Hadoop? Golly, um, uh, it's hard. I mean, there's so many people trying to imagine what is the next tool we need. It's like you know, what's the great, what's my great mobile startup idea? <laughs> it's hard to come up with one that hasn't hasn't been done. Uh, so so none come right to mind. Um, uh, you know, my um, an area that I think is um, underserved in, in a lot of ways for, for my personal hobbies um, is uh, use of um, geographic uh, data for um, uh, helping you when you're wandering around the world. Um, I'm always excited by people who can um, uh, build uh, in, in, and infer new data structures, new you know, find out where people are going um, and paths. It's, it's an area that's rife with um, privacy concerns, so it's tricky to, to do things well there. Um, uh, but I think that there will, we'll see more of that as we get more sensors uh, in the world, uh, people able to take advantage of those. Um, and uh, you know, it, it sounds it sounds like I'm likely saying local, which is again one of these buzzwords, which is cheesy and, and hard to be novel. But yeah, that's exciting. Thank you very much for talking with us oh, today. Oh, you're very welcome. It's great to be here.